In this week's explainer, I'll be talking about the Turkish drone supply to Ukraine. Even before Russia invaded Ukraine in late February, Turkey's supply of TB2 Bayraktar drones to Kyiv had attracted attention. But ever since the shooting started, the medium weight TB2 has arguably become the international star. <laughs> Ukraine has circulated footage of the TB2 destroying scores of Russian armed vehicles and air defense systems. Baker Tech, the Turkish company manufacturing the TB2, has gone to town with a drone success in Ukraine. In March, Baker announced it had begun assembly of its most advanced unmanned aerial vehicle. The project has been given the prosaic name Kizil Alma, Turkish for Red Apple. The Kizil Alma is expected to make its first flight in 2023. The Kizil Alma, which was first revealed in 2021, is bigger and better than the TB2 in every respect. It is maximum takeoff weight is 6 tons, nearly 10 times the weight of the TB2. The Kizil Alma is capable of carrying a payload around 1.5 tons. This will enable it to carry a range of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles and bombs, unlike the TB2 that relies on small laser-guided bombs as its main weapons. Baker calls the MIU's project a fighter UAV, which means it is intended to engage in compact with other aircraft. The Kizil Elma's main advantage over the TB2 and other drones like the US MQ-9 Reaper is it is powered by a jet engine and a stealthy design to reduce the possibility of detection of enemy radar. The jet engine gives the Kizil Elma a speed over 500 km per hour, well over twice that of the TB2. Baker is incorporating artificial intelligence capabilities in the Kizil Elma. The UAV is also expected to be used as a loyal wingman, a system that acts in conjunction with manned aircraft in a range of offensive military missions such as ground attacks and electronic warfare. But if the Ukraine war has proven a boon for Turkish UAVs, the conflict continuing could well prove to be a headache for Baykar. This is because the Kizil Elma is powered by a single AI-322F engine produced by two Ukrainian companies. Ever since the conflict started, Russian forces have deliberately targeted Ukraine defense industry facilities. The Russian attacks have been attributed to the need to degrade Ukraine's defense industry. But given Ukraine's reputation as a supply of high-tech weapons to countries as varied as Turkey, China and India, Russia may well be seeking to eliminate competition to its arms companies. The continuing conflict along with displacement of trained personnel and disruption of supply chains it is likely to curtail Ukrainian arms export activities for the foreseeable future. Aaron Stein, Director of Research of the Foreign Policy Research Institute, told Forbes in March that continuing conflict could result in Kizil Elma's project going up in smoke. He said Turkey still has the option of tying up with the likes of UK's Rolls Royce or US companies for engines for the MIUs. But the project's development's timeline would certainly slip if the new power plant is selected.